champions. It's the Lions and Argos in their signature look jerseys tonight with the roof open at Rogers Center. And a look at the signature jerseys. I think they call them signature because the numbers are tough to read, just like <laughs> the autographs of the guys. But we will persevere here tonight. Tim Brown from the 10 yard line with the return. And Brown gets outside and gets beyond the 40 yard line. Not sure why they clarified that the ball wasn't tipped because that would have allowed the contact. There's Tim Brown on the return. He shakes off the first contact and gets away. Only Swayze Waters back. Tim Brown now. Can Curtis Steele catch him from the trail position? He does. He saves a touchdown. But Tim Brown exploding for a 68-yard return. Second and goal. Back in his hands. Cuts it back and reaches for the end zone. Touchdown. What a great effort by Stefan Logan. He made a couple guys miss in that backfield about four or five yards shy of the goal line. So tremendous second effort to get there. <laughs> and we may see that tonight with Logan and Brown. Here is Logan getting away. What a nifty move that was as he slashes inside the 40. Well, that's uh, shades of Andrew Harris. And Kevin Glenn told us that they're a lot alike. An impressive 94.4%. And he'll better that. Second and 10, Ray the throw, and he threats the needle to Dermot Adams, who drops the football, and Corey Williams comes up with it. So Adams the catch, but then gives it up, and it's all going BC's way in this first quarter. See if they can buy some time. They'll try and help out with the run game, and Curtis Steele not to be denied. Great run down to the Lion 46-yard line. So Swayze Waters to attempt a 32-yarder. He gets the Argos on the board. Oh, a lot of good ones, Friday Night Lights. Bazzi said that they get when they were freshmen. He's in on that one, too, trying to force the quick throw. Oh, there's a play penalty. Yep. Tory Williams taking down Robert Gill. Flags fly, and the Argos got something going here on this drive. And the Blue Swayze shoes attempting from 34 yards out. It's a kicker thing. And he's got it. Here's Kevin Glenn looking downfield. Great catch. Where was it? Arsenal doesn't survive contact. And a little slow to get up. Or does he? They are ruling a catch yep, they at did. the Argo 52. Murray and handed off to Logan. Counter and he finds a crease. Daylight step on Logan inside the 25 yard line. So McCallum from 29. And he puts it through. Be interesting to see if he's deployed in the second half. Ricky Ray going to take one shot, try to get in the field goal range. And there's time on the clock. And Waters, plenty of distance, and he puts it through. Third straight series where first downs produced at least seven yards, and they haven't got a, a first down out of it. And Waters sails this one through, and it'll be a single point in second and 14 again. Bradwell on the waggle, more pressure, but this time they get it away. Good call. Glenn Suter and Jeremiah Johnson has a first down and ducks inside the 40 out at the 38. When you got guys that are coming so hard, you can dump it in behind them to Jeremiah Johnson, just take a two count and then just dump it in behind him. Now you get one guy on all of it, uh, Solomon Alamimi, and you got to play. Bradwell stays in. Ricky Ray looks down the sideline. The six foot of the foot in, yes, touchdown. Sickfield. This is a nice catch. This is a real nice catch. Does he have a foot in bounds? Is the only question. Climbs the ladder to go get it, and I think he does. The left foot down in bounds. Second and five. Here comes pressure. Pass is complete, and getting away is. Courtney Taylor with the grab, and he's all the way down to the 24-yard line. Well, Courtney Taylor runs this little curl, ball right on him, and it's Dwight Anderson. 
19 for 20, and now a 32-yard attempt to make it a one-point game. And McCallum, good as always. We've got a movie update here, by the way. Oh, we do. <laughs> oh. Twitter was going nuts, wasn't it? Waters kicking it, and a big return for Tim Brown once again. How about Tim Brown, and he's still going. They didn't bring him down, and he's got extra yards to the sidelines and into field goal range. The former BC Lion, James Urichuk, finally drags him down from 27 yards up. And as always, McCallum Money and may see him next week against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in Vancouver. That pass complete and getting away is Mandy Arsenault. And Arsenault has a touchdown. Arsenault bounces off contact and takes it to the house for a 53-yard major score. It looked like Arsenault was wrapped up there, but Neither Gabriel or no. Jalo Carter could bring him down. Shout out to the all line quarterback. It's a team thing. It ain't about me. But stay tuned to the Manning Show. Ray to the sidelines, and that he is picked off. Lottie Yell down the sidelines. Second pick six for Yell on the season. I don't think Ricky Ray thought for a second that Ronnie Yelk had these kind of jumps. I mean, he just got up and stole that one. Victory formation. They won't try and score here. A knee down, and the game is over. The Argos had a one-point lead in the fourth quarter, but 17 straight for Mike Benavides' team. And the Lions prevailed to go to 5-3.